it's Daria in here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new lapel microphone, so I am trying it out for the first time for this video. Uh, I hope it works. <laughs> if not, I'll just redo this video. It's fine. So today I thought I would talk about Country Lolita fashion. The things you need to know about it, the things you don't need to know about it, and kind of where to start if you're interested in diving into this uh, sub-style. Country Lolita is my primary Lolita fashion style. Um, oops, I touched the microphone, sorry. I've got a lot of notes. I have a lot of things to say about it, I guess. I usually never write out notes for videos. I pretty much always just wing it. <laughs> so if I sound scripted, it's because I've got a script and I'm gonna read from it. So in Lolita fashion, there are three main substyles. There's Gothic, Classic, and Sweet. Country, the country Lolita is a smaller substyle. Not as many people wear it. So what is country referring to in Country Lolita? It is not referring to American Western cowboy <laughs> country, you know? It's, that's a whole other substyle. It's more like a meme <laughs> that Lolita's do for fun. <laughs> so, yeah, they'll have like cowboy hats and cowboy boots and call it, it's called Yeehaw Lolita, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, yeah, that's mostly found in Texas. <laughs> hey yo, Texas Lolitas. Um, yeah, country Lolita is referring to like rural countryside, like a way of life, kind of like cottagecore in a way. So think fields of wildflowers, pastures of grazing sheep, having a picnic by the brook, you know, just very, uh outside dreamy recently i've seen a lot more people try out this style um specifically in the last few years i mean it's always been around not always but it's been around for a long time but i've noticed a lot more people wearing it um along with their other styles or trying it out you know my theory is because of the cottagecore aesthetic movement that started in 2019, 2020. So country Lolita is basically the cottagecore version of Lolita fashion, if you will. So what are the main themes and inspirations for country Lolita fashion? So I've got picnics, farmer's markets, Anne of Green Gables, that whole aesthetic, and a lot. there's a lot of like Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit kind of stuff themed in Country Lolita. Let's see. There's a lot of inspiration from 18th century pastoral art. Um, that, there's also, that also correlates really strongly with um, cottagecore, so it's very, idealized, aesthetic, dreamy, rural lifestyle. And the spring season in general is a big uh, theme in Country Lolita as well. So if you're wanting to start your own Country Lolita uh, fashion wardrobe journey, <laughs> uh, here's a list of recognizable elements that you can start looking for in uh, main pieces and accessories. So, so look for organic themes like wildflowers, berries, animals like rabbits and sheep, and butterflies. Patterns like gingham and florals are essential. Let me tell you, essential in Country Lolita. <laughs> yeah, gingham is like the Country Lolita pattern. <laughs> There's also some foods in the in the style, like uh, jars of jam, uh, pies, and tea are also common in the style. I know tea is common in Lolita fashion in general, but it also fits in with country. So the 
color palette to be looking for is muted pastels and light earth tones. So this is both the sage green. It's a muted pastel green, but it's also an earth tone. So yeah, this is a really good uh, color along with like pinks and light blues and a lot of beige, <laughs> beige and ivories. Yeah. So Country Lolita has lots of ruffles and layering. It's a very um, flowy and less structured, less structured than other Lolita styles, specifically less structured than like um, classic. Classic is very structured and print and proper and um, country is more flowy and uh, laid back, I guess. Um, it's kind of similar to Morike, um, which is another Japanese fashion. It's not Lolita, but um, I've noticed that a lot of Chinese Lolita brands specifically have taken a lot of inspiration from Mori K into their Lolita designs. So I'll put a few pictures here of some examples that I've seen. Wicker baskets and wicker accessories like hats and you know other stuff is very popular. Almost essential. It is essential. Yeah. If you want to start wearing Country Lolita, start by getting a straw boater hat. This is the most popular and recognizable feature, <laughs> feature element of Country Lolita is the straw boater hat. Usually people will just put a straw boater hat on and call the whole coordinate a country coordinate. <laughs> but there's a lot of other options besides a straw hat that you can do for Country Lolita, such as bonnets. Um, lace like bandanas or just lace head pieces in general and flower um, headbands or flower crowns or you know you don't have to wear a boater hat to be country Lolita that's my point <laughs> braided hairstyles are also a go-to um, it's a very safe way to present to communicate country Lolita is to braid your hair. I braided my hair today, just up here. I didn't do the whole thing because I wanted, you know, this, I don't know, just to change it up. My last and final tip for starting your country Lolita wardrobe is that flowers are your best friend. <laughs> when in doubt, put flowers on it get a flower floral something, you know, get flower earrings like these, get, put a flower on your hat, get flowery designs. And that's a good way to start a country Lolita fashion wardrobe. <laughs> so country Lolita can range on a spectrum of leaning towards classic Lolita um, versus sweet Lolita. It fits in that mid zone between those two styles kind of you know so i've got some examples of dresses that fit either close to one end of the spectrum and the other so i'll be right back and get those all right i've got my two dresses here Ugh. so let me start with this one this one I would say leans more towards a uh, classic Lolita, if you can see it. I forget the brand and name of this dress. I think it's from, oh yeah, it's from Miss Point, which is a Taobao Chinese Lolita brand. So this one leans more towards classic because of its, um, more mature color tones and I don't know it just looks it just reads classic you know it's I wouldn't call this sweet um yeah that's that <laughs> and then this one I would say leans more towards the sweet side 
uh, mainly because of its brighter color palette. Um, it's very angelic pretty reminiscent. Um, it's got like cute scalloping and lots of gingham and florals, but it's still country Lolita. Um, yeah. And this dress is actually not from any brand. I actually found this dress at an antique mall in Ohio. <laughs> this was like the best find ever. It just looks like a Lolita dress, but it's not, but it is, you know. So yeah. So there is a spectrum of classic or sweet styles of country Lolita but both dresses are country nonetheless because of the themes that I mentioned previously. So country Lolita is still Lolita fashion, so it follows um, traditional Lolita guidelines and elements that make it very different from cottagecore or those other styles. So most importantly, the cupcake or A-line silhouette um, achieved by a petticoat or hoop skirt is the number one um, identifiable. I keep saying the word element in this video, but I'll say it again. The most identifiable element that makes it Lolita fashion. In Lolita fashion, um, we always include tights or socks, a headdress of some sort, headpiece, um, matching uh, accessories to some extent, whether it's a ton or just like earrings and a ring or something. And these components are what make a complete coordinate and are what make it Lolita fashion um, rather than just wearing a floral flowy dress and sandals, which you can find in cottagecore. Okay, I think that's the end of this video. I reached the end of my notes. I think I've talked about everything I wanted to. I've been wanting to cover this topic for quite some time, but I've just been putting it on the back burner, but now is better than never, right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it to the end of this video, big thank you. I hope this video educated or helped you in some way to find inspiration or uh, motivation to Maybe try out Country Lolita for yourself, or if you're looking to um, expand your wardrobe, experiment. Um, I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I upload once a month. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye. Do 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 why is my camera doing this weird lighting thing? Is it gonna keep doing it? No? Okay. Do I need to start that all over? Okay, my lighting is just whack. What is up with it? This take is trash.